Good evening, everybody. Me, V. This video is intended for adults. It is not made for kids. So if you're under the age of 18, again, this video is not for you. So I am here to share with you guys my honeycomb bumblebee tote. Now, I had uh, gotten this and I wanted to create the do the tote right away. But due to my surgery, I could not come down two flights of stairs Um you know, one from my bedroom into the living room, then from the living room into my basement. And so I was not able to. And then there was a wonderful bumblebee tote going on. Again, I could not come all the way down into my basement to create. So, and them ladies were making some very beautiful bumblebee uh, creations. So I am inspired by a bunch of what they created. So I cannot wait to... Um, make some embellishments to go in this uh, tote. But before I share with you that, I'm also wanting to make a bumblebee um, uh, journal. So I did try doing some paper. This one sadly did not, it, it's a hot mess. It didn't even come out. Same thing with this one. It, it just was either too windy or not hot enough. But in that case, the day I did this, I think it was both. This one, you can see a little bit of the uh, honeycomb. But um, I wish it would have been darker, more pronounced. But it, the paper's still cute. I'm still going to use it. This one, I believe the bumblebee moved due to the wind. And I apologize if I'm bumping this. So see, that's where it moved. So that one's a scratch. This one was, mm, I didn't like the way that came out. The backside looked a little better, but this one came out really good. The only thing I, I'm not real happy, I shouldn't have done it with the airflow thing on the back. Because you can see, they don't look bad there. But when you turn it over... See the cross stitch on his on his body and his head? It doesn't give him the the real pretty lines. So I'll have to, to do this. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there I go again. On on a different um on a table or something instead of where I do it. So yeah. And then this one, this one came out really nice, dark. I just wish it had been further up. And I, I like how, how well it came out. And the backside came out very low. Um, you don't really see the bumblebee, but that's okay. I'm going to do some more of this. So I just wanted to share that with you. Now, to share with you the bumblebee tote. Now, um, you can pause the video. I'm sorry for the glare. And you can find Ida Martinez. She is created to create on YouTube. You can find her store at createsupplies.shop. And this is where you can find the um, tote. Now, I did share a video a couple of videos back of the tote when I had first got it. Sadly, I was not able to create with it. And um, I wanted to do that. And I, I did I just say that? I can't even remember if I just said that. If I said I want to do the bumblebee swap, but due to my surgery, I could not. And so I just finally got to finish the, the tote. So when I um, had bought her corset die, in the video, I had mentioned that you needed a bigger machine because it did not fit in a big shop. And that, um, because I loaded it to the top, it was so big. I was in a swap for a Valentine swap. And so you had to be careful just pulling it out by the handle because you didn't want to tear it. Well, sweet Ida heard that and she created several pieces in here. I'll just pull it out real quick. There's a total of 15 pieces. Here is the thing. She created a backing on here. Oops, I got it backwards. Um, 
to cover up the back side of the little flaps um, so it would go back here in the back of your tote and it reinforces your tote. Um, the wonderful thing she also did was the bottom of the tote. You have your backing and, and then she made you a mat to go on there. And the wonderful thing is, is that mat fits perfect in between the stitching. So that reinforces it on the side of your tote. You have this piece, but then you have a mat piece that goes right on top, right between the stitch line again to reinforce it again. Well, then the handle, here's the handle that goes on, oops, let me grab this, the tote goes right there. So you don't need a big giant machine now that Ida had the manufacturer take off the handle, um, you can use a regular big shot to create this awesome big tote, you know? It's so cool. And so, um, again, the layering piece to reinforce the handles and all of that. And then even the center, you've got this layering piece that goes right there. So she's made quite a few pieces on here to reinforce your uh, tote, which is really cool. Because there's a lot of area in this tote for you to, um, and I wish I could have created more embellishments to show, but sadly I could not. And um, so you've got a lot of room in there. I mean, a lot. So the other things that I used for this, for the daisies, I used these, this die. Now, um, I think this one came from Timu. Um, this was um, a quilled creation, and it, it did have a daisy, but I thought it, it, it stuck out way too much, the, the flower center part. So I used different things. I use the center of these circles. I use the center of this circle. I use this itty little bitty circle. And I'm bumping it again. I do apologize. I use this double bow. And a lot of these came from D stashes. Ellie. And I'm I don't even know if they sell them anymore. I haven't been there in forever. And so I do not know. Um, the other one I used was this big honeycomb. And then I used this little honeycomb. And uh, the other thing I used was this frantic stamper drip uh, border for the dripping honey. I think this is a KS Craft. I got it on Amazon. And so I used the bumblebees, and I do apologize for the glare, and I had the honey dipper stirs, whatchamacallum, in there. I used them, and that was it. The other thing that I did was I used, I do apologize if I'm bumping it. I don't know where I got these from. I've had them forever. Um, these um, gold sequins, or not sequins, but gemstones, and these little small ones from the Dollar Tree. I used some vellum. Now, I'm going to back up for one second. Please forgive me if I bump it again. Oh, oh, oh. I did it again. Oh, yes, I did. There I go. Maybe I'll leave it alone right there. I thought I would be a bit of an overachiever. I wanted this thing to sparkle. I had done the first one. I had done it in gold and black and just all these colors. Well, the sad thing is it was very hard to form it because I used thick black cardstock. I used thick chipboard or card um, poster board from the Dollar Tree, the gold. And then I used um, yellow glitter 
and then I used this honey color glitter and that was fine. But as you see on this one, when you start bending the sides, the glitter paper kept cracking. I did add a little bit of glossy accents here and there. And I'm really thinking of adding this glitter paper back inside on the front anyway, uh, like this on the other one. I'm not sure, but um, I even tried to put um, washi tape to reinforce it because it kept cracking. Well, that was a total disaster. Uh, don't use glitter paper. It don't work. So as you can see, I'm going to start on the back or the bottom. Look at it. That's really sturdy. Here are the sides. Again, that it makes it very, very sturdy. So on the back, I did put the drip up there. And as you can see, I used some of that glittered, honey colored glitter paper because I wasn't going to have to bend it. And I put uh, glossy accents on there to look like it was shiny and drippy and wet. Oop, I hit it again. And then I added that um, gemstone uh, trim down the middle. There's the bumblebee. And um, I added diamond dots in his eye and vellum in his wings. And I just put, closed it up like that so that it would look like he was flying. Although, he, I'm sorry. He's going to go on my shelf, so it don't matter. On the front, I did not use the leaves in the daisy trim um, to stick here and there. I, I didn't want green in it. I just wanted black and yellow and white. And so um, there are little pom-poms stuck under there. The way that I shaped it with the, sh with, um, the stylus, I wanted it to kind of puff up. And it did. And there you can see the little bumblebees. Um, and so I think it did real good because a daisy doesn't have a whole lot of layers. So um, there's where I use the gemstone. There's where I use the little gemstone, the diamond dots. And at this turns because I put it on them. And you can see it back there, but that don't bother me. And um, so you can move these out of the way. And there you can see where I have the dripping honey going all the way across. There's the bow. That's where I use the big honeycomb, the little honeycomb, and um, a little jemmy in the middle. This little sweet as can be tag is part of the honeycomb um, tote. It comes with it. And so I just did lots of little layering. And then I did, I think it, it's um, honeybee scraps. Oh, was it honeybee scraps? Honeybee. Oh, no. oh, I'll put the name down below. But I bought some of her faux honey. You do have to let it dry a good 24 hours before you go touching it. I touched it and made bubbles. I was like, oh, no. But um, it don't look bad. It, it's good for me. It's not going to nobody but me. But I thought it came out so stinking cute. I love it. it it's so gorgeous. So, um, it's beautiful. <laughs> I hope that you all like it and I hope that you all have a blessed day. Um, let me know what you all think. And you guys, please go check out Ida's channel. And uh, she did uh, the extension part to hide your uh, flaps that, that you, where you glue. She used that part to make her a uh, shaker, which was so cool. And I thought, oh, I got to make one like that. I bought the shaker, and I just didn't do it. Well, I didn't have a lot of time. But uh, I still like the way that this came out. And I really do want to... And, and what I did to get the whole back portion of it, let me show you. Let me pull this out. It's all coming apart there. I believe. Oh, I did. Okay. 
So what I did was to get this dark um, gold color, I got the shape of the die. I turned it over backwards and I traced it onto the um, yellow cardstock and I glued that to the front of the honeycomb part. And so it gave me, as you can see, a solid piece in the back. And I think I want to do that to this one, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do another one. But again, I hope that you all come back and uh, let me know what you all think. Go check out Ida. She, hers are just as gorgeous as gorgeous can be. So everybody have a great night and we'll talk with you all later. Bye.